On today's video, we're going to take a look back at all the things that Knetter's Practical Outdoors was doing in the year 2020. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors and like I said earlier, we're going to take a look back at everything that we are up to during the year 2020. Now, 2020 in the UP here started off pretty normal. Lots of snow on the ground, lots of snow still to come, pretty typical start to the year for here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. In the winter up here, it seems like every few days you're out brushing some snow off your snow removal equipment so then you can go remove snow. But it's not just about the snow removal. We like to get out and do some snowmobiling, do some sledding, do some ice fishing, do some snowshoeing. But I tell you what, if you're going to live in the UP, you're going to be living with this snow, you might as well embrace it. Another thing that we like to do in the winter is take snowmobile trips into our deer camp and spend a few days. This past winter there was a lot of snow out at our deer camp. So we had to kind of dig our way in just to get into the camp. One o'clock in the afternoon, just got to the camp. It's about 28 degrees inside the camp. Just lit the wood stove, so kind of see how uh, that temperature progresses. Oh yeah.
and of course it takes a while to warm the camp up but once you do it's very cozy One kind of interesting thing that we did on this particular trip into the camp is I took a few of the extra roosters that we had, hung them up in a tree, put some game cameras on them, and just kind of checked out what came in to eat them. Now springtime in the UP can look an awful lot like winter. Quite often we'll have a lot of snow on the ground well past March, into April, and sometimes into May. Now, this past spring, our governor here in Michigan did shut down all non-essential businesses because of the COVID virus. This had a real negative effect on my one and only sponsor, Camaro's Crawlers, until my buddy Ronnie Camaro came up with a great idea. All right, guys. A lot of non-essential businesses have been asked to shut down because of the coronavirus. My buddy Ronnie Camaro he runs a small bait shop out of his parents house where he lives. His bait shop did fall under those non-essential shutdown guidelines until now. Camaro's Crawler's bait shop now sells essential food items and this allows Camaro's Crawler's to remain open. Now I wouldn't say that Camaro's Crawler's carries a wide array of food items, all right. Um, I'd probably characterize it as more of a narrow array of food items. Um, specifically, Camaro's Crawlers carries frozen pizzas and Coca-Cola. Now, Camaro's Crawlers still carries all the bait for you fishermen. All right, He still has the crawlers, he still has the leeches, he still has the minnows. And again this summer, Camaro's Crawlers is carrying the walleye extra value meal. All right, And then he also has the wood ticks when they're in season. So everything else is just the same as it always was. You walk in through Ronnie's dad's uh, walk-in basement, and he's got the bait refrigerator right there. He's got the uh, minnow tank right there, and that's where you get your bait, just the same as you always have, all right? Um, Ronnie did want me to mention that um, the freezer with all the different types of frozen foods, uh, that's his mom and dad's freezer. The food in that freezer is not for sale. And also, until further notice, Ronnie has asked that only the customers that are over the age of 21 shop at Camaro's Crawlers, okay? Because of the coronavirus, that's just to kind of protect the customers, all right? So if you're under the age of 21 and you're looking to get some frozen pizzas and crawlers, um, you're just gonna have to find a buyer. So come on down to Camaro's Crawlers 
for all your essential frozen pizza, Coca-Cola, and fishing bait needs. Those first few warm days of spring, even though there's a lot of snow on the ground, it's just great to get outside and not have to wear all those bulky clothes. It's fun to put game cameras out and see what kind of critters are roaming around in the woods. This guy here looks like he just had a fresh kill. And just about the time that you think spring has truly arrived, Mother Nature kind of has a way of reminding you that uh, you live in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. This was actually the day after Easter this past spring. We got about 18 inches dumped on us. But eventually the snow does melt. Looks like this deer might have had a run in with one of those canines from the earlier pictures. Usually the first open water fishing that we do in the spring will be for brook trout. A lot of times they don't grow real big, but they sure are a beautiful fish. But once the water temperatures start to rise and spring kind of turns into summer, our fishing becomes all about bass, walleye, pike, and bluegills.
Schon. And then once we were into the full swing of summer, my buddy Ronnie Camaro, down at Camaro's Crawlers, came up with another fantastic hey, idea for up. his bait shop. Alright, hang on to the pole. Hang on to the pole. Attention fishermen and fisherwomen. Do you guys like to catch large predator fish like I do? I thought you did. I just wanted to share with you guys an exciting new live bait product that's being offered down at Camaro's Crawlers. Camaro's Crawlers has always offered you guys the freshest leeches, the freshest crawlers, and the freshest minnows. But now my buddy Ronnie Camaro is taking his bait shop to the next level. Camaro's Crawlers has now added bloated wood ticks to its live bait arsenal. These aren't those smaller wood ticks that Ronnie has sold in the past for bluegill fishing. These are the larger, blood-filled, bloated wood ticks. Ronnie is pretty sure that Camaro's Crawlers is the only bait shop in the Midwest to carry bloated wood ticks. Ronnie's been going out to his uncle's farm and harvesting these bloated wood ticks fresh off the animals to better serve his customers. What makes these bloated wood ticks such an awesome option for large predator fish is the blood scent that they put in the water. Just like if you were chumming for sharks, these bloated wood ticks will be calling in the large predator fish from all over the lake. You can use bloated wood ticks the same way you would use any other live bait. Put them on a bare hook, put them on a jig, add them to your crawler harness. No matter how you use them, they'll be creating a blood trail that leads right to your hook. So if you want to catch the largest predator fish in your lake, head on down to Camaro's Crawlers and pick up some bloated wood ticks. Go ahead and try to cast it, Perry. Oh, close. Did you open the veil? Oh, yeah. But you didn't let go of the line. Another good one, huh? Yeah. Closer. Closer, Perry. Now you gotta let go of the line, though. There you go. Now you're getting it. That wasn't very
but it's not all about fishing. We had been having this beaver problem out at our camp for a few years now. And the beavers were plugging this culvert on our camp road and causing the water to flood up and over the camp road itself. So we built and installed a beaver deceiver. And essentially all it was was kind of a cage that goes around the upstream side of the culvert and it keeps beavers away and keeps them from damming up the culvert. Another project that we had out at the camp this summer is we put some new roofing on the old part of the camp. One thing that we did for the first time this summer was we got some honeybees. And we quickly realized that the fence that we had around the beehive was not bear proof. Well, the bees and the bee boxes did survive that bear attack. But the next day we went ahead and put up an electric fence around it. And I'm happy to report, no more bear problems. Well, I mean, I don't want, I don't mean to, I don't want you to be like this. No, no. And then when the fall rolls around, pretty much here at Kinetter's Practical Outdoors, the focus becomes firewood, deer camp, and deer hunting. And then last fall, we finally got some siding on the deer camp. That job was overdue, but we finally got it done. And then it was time to get out to the camp, enjoy it, and do some hunting. And then last fall, my buddy Ronnie Camaro, the owner of Camaro's Crawlers, he came up with a fantastic idea for the deer hunters. Hey guys. Do you want to get that big buck this fall? Well then head on down to Camaro's Crawlers and get yourself a bag of Last Supper Deer Corn. Last Supper Deer Corn is no ordinary deer corn. First of all, it's only available at Camaro's Crawlers. Second of all, my buddy Ronnie Camaro, the owner of Camaro's Crawlers, mixes every bag of Last Supper Deer Corn with three special ingredients. The first special ingredient that Ronnie mixes with every bag of Last Supper Deer Corn is fish oil. The fish oil gives your buck a nice clean, healthy, shiny coat. And that'll really pay off when you bring that big buck into the taxidermist. The second ingredient that Ronnie mixes in with every bag of Last Supper Deer Corn is Viagra. As soon as that buck takes a bite of this deer corn, he's going to be in rut all season long. And the third ingredient mixed in with every bag of Last Supper deer corn is caffeine. No longer are we going to let those big bucks bed down during the day while we're hunting. We're going to get them up, hopped up on caffeine, and running around all season long. Ronnie Camaro's girlfriend, 
did the graphics on the bag. I think it turned out pretty cool. Hey, if you care enough about that big buck to shoot them, you should care enough about your big buck to buy them Last Supper deer corn. And remember, Last Supper deer corn is only available at Camaro's Crawlers. Now, the deer hunting out at the camp this past fall was awfully slow. He just, he just wanted to go but the deer camp yeah, lifestyle so, was I mean, just as fun fine, as ever. You know, so we're like, okay, well, let's, let's just go hunting, right? And I look at him and go, what the heck happened here? And he's like, oh, yeah, it was kind of, kind of a rough night. That looks good. I'm not talking about the leg lamp. Oh! Far was tackle on the sideline for a loss. <laughs> it actually hurts my head. <laughs> yeah. This is her deer. Nice buck. Thanks. But the deer hunting by my house wasn't too bad. My wife Very and good. daughter each connected on a nice little buck. Nice little spike arm. Perfect. And then for our family, getting deer means that we're going to be doing some deer processing. Okay, so that's that's probably where uh, everybody wonders how, how could why would you ever have to pay a hundred dollars for a steak? Maybe that's it, eh? <laughs> yeah, you know you lose all that water weight. Yeah, uh, uh, those are those are your ritzier. Well, that kind of puts a wrap on the year 2020 for here at Kinetta's Practical Outdoors. And of course, up here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the year usually ends the way it began, with snow on the ground. So I thought we'd just come full circle and we might as well end this video right where it began, with the plow truck moving snow. Of course, it's pretty typical uh, the first time you start the plow truck up in the winter that, uh, you know, you're going to have to jump the battery, right? battery was dead on the Suburban plow truck for me. That's no big deal. That's to be expected. But another kind of weird thing that happened was a mouse nest blew out of the tailpipe when I started it up. So somewhere along the line, a mouse tried to build a nest in the tailpipe. thought that was kind of funny. But, uh, sorry mouse, that was a bad idea. It's gonna be tough living in the uh, tailpipe of the plow truck. It's gonna get a little smoggy in there. All right guys, well, as you can see, it was another fun year here at Kinetta's Practical Outdoors. I wanna thank all my subscribers and all the people that watch the videos. I wanna thank Camaro's Crawlers for being my one and only sponsor. I also wanna thank Big Cat Daddy Walleye for always providing me with some excellent music to go along with the videos. And hey, guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.